Hey there, welcome to the sermon preview for this week. I'm glad you're taking a second to join me here today. Last week, we started our brand new series on the book of Malachi. Uh, and we're calling the series Wake Up Call because it's all about Malachi coming to the people of God with a message from God saying, wake up, return to the Lord. Uh, the people of Israel have lost their desire to really follow the Lord with everything that they have. And we're going to see that in our passage that we're looking at this week. Uh, but they have just lost all motivation. They're apathetic. They're skeptical. They're cynical. And they don't really care. So Malachi is coming to them saying, wake up. You're missing it. Come back to the Lord. And last week, uh, we saw in our first week, we saw that uh, God starts this conversation with, I have loved you, right? Uh, in his call to Israel to come back to them, he reminds them of his love for them. So before there's any correction, before there's any instruction, he reminds them of his love. Now, in our passage for this week, uh, which is going to be chapter 1, verse 6, all the way through chapter 2, verse 9, we start to see some instruction and some correction coming in from how the Israelites had been doing things. And specifically, this week is focused on the priests, right? The priests who have been charged from the, the line of Levi have been charged with uh, running the worship experience, so to speak, right? They, they are in charge of making sure that worship is done right and is done well. In fact, in the bottom of, uh, in, in chapter two, it says tr the true instruction was in his mouth. No wrong was found. He walked with me in peace for the lips of priests should guard knowledge and people should seek instruction from his mouth. He is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So the priests were supposed to be messengers. They were supposed to guard and, and, and make sure that everything that was happening in the worship of the Lord was true and right. Okay. Well, they utterly failed. It was, it was really bad. We see that they are there, that God is coming to them saying, you have despised me. You have done all of these things. And they're like, what, what do you mean? Right? We have this same style of dispute where God brings something to, to them and they say, what are you talking about? We haven't done this. How have we done this? Right? And, and God, he calls it how it is. He says, you've brought me bad sacrifices, right? There's the, the sacrificial system was, uh, was still in place. And, and they, they said, you've brought me blind animals, sick animals, lame animals, right? You have despised my name. You have dishonored my name. So the, the main focus or the main theme that we see coming out of this passage is this idea of, of honorable worship, right? Are we giving God honor through our worship? Is our best foot forward and is God getting our best or is he getting the leftovers of our life? Right? And that's really what I want you to be thinking about this week. As you prepare for this coming Sunday, I want you to think about, obviously read through this passage, chapter 1, verse 6 through chapter 2, verse 9. But think about, have you been bringing God your best? Have you been putting your best foot forward when it comes to your worship of the Lord? Right? Or has he been getting second fiddle? Has he been getting the scraps, the leftovers I want you to think about that. Now, before we, before I uh, finish up here, I want to remind you of something that's happening this week. It's a really exciting Sunday. Uh, it's Baptism Sunday. We have three baptisms that are happening, and then we actually have one uh, rededication that's happening. There's uh, somebody who's come forward and said that they have a desire to publicly reaffirm or renew their commitment to the Lord, and so we want to take time to recognize and celebrate with that person. So we've got three baptisms. One rededication, we're going to make sure that we give plenty of time and space for the celebration of God's faithfulness in these events. So uh, really looking forward to that. Also, just a reminder, there is going to be a fellowship meal after Sunday school. Uh, and so uh, if you're coming, please bring a, a dish to share. Uh, if you forget to bring one, like I do sometimes, uh, you're still welcome to stay. There, there should be plenty of food. Uh, we want to spend time with you. you. We want to fellowship with you. Uh, we want to recognize that God is faithful through all of this. So uh, as we go, prepare for this week, read the passage, think about have you been giving God your best? Have you been putting your best foot forward in your relationship with him? So I'm excited for Sunday. It should be a wonderful, wonderful passage. Even though it may step on our toes a little bit, uh, it should still be good. We, we will be okay. All right. 
We'll see you then. Take care.